Hello, and welcome to this overview of the m 3 software user interface. The following video will identify and describe the core elements of the software's primary operating environment, as well as provide a brief explanation of how the overall software can be used to conveniently accomplish your measurement tasks. We begin by observing that the standard M3 screen layout consists of one large viewport and two smaller viewports and is enclosed by a top and bottom button toolbar. These viewports display specific pieces of information about your measurement session and can be view swapped by clicking or pressing within the viewport regions themselves. The live video, part view, and the current position feature detail view can all be positioned for the desired display layout and to accommodate the task at hand. To the right of the large viewport, the feature and program list is displayed. While in an interactive or non-programmatic measuring session, this feature list will display the features that have been measured, constructed, or created since the last new measuring session was started. Features can be selected from this list for display or measurement purposes. While in program playback, the feature list area will display either a programmed features list or a program edit list depending on the feature list view type you currently have selected. Next, we will look at the top button toolbar. The M3 system menu is accessed by pressing the M3 button in the top left corner of your screen. This menu contains system functions commonly associated with the traditional Windows file menu. From this menu, an operator may choose to create a new part, play back a loaded part, open a new part, save a part, print the current screen view, access the M3 settings, log out for the current user, or shut down the software. Moving to the right along the top toolbar, some additional quick system function buttons can be displayed. The, mu the buttons displayed here will be based upon the desktop configuration parameters set in the desktop settings screen. Function buttons set to desktop will be displayed in the toolbar areas whereas buttons set to Extra will be displayed within the Extra menu displayed in the bottom toolbar seen here. Pressing the Home button seen here will always return the user to the default layout view with live video in the large viewport and feature detail and part view in the smaller ports to the left. The Report View button provides access to the M3 Report View displaying the feature list contents in the desired report format. The undo button will step back through executed software commands such as entered points or deleted features. The question mark button provides access to the M3's help system. As we move to the bottom button toolbar we will first look at functions that we've assigned to be displayed in the extra menu. The keyboard button, seen here, will call the Windows on-screen keyboard. The inch millimeter toggle button can be used to switch the unit type that measurement data is displayed in, from inch to millimeter or millimeter to inch. The lock button can toggle on or off the lock features in re reference frame capability for use with multiple reference frame systems. See the help section on multiple reference frames for additional information on this function. Above the lock button is the degrees, minutes, seconds, and decimal degrees toggle button. This button can be used to select the angular display format to be used. The last button displayed here in the extra menu is the polar Cartesian toggle button. This button can be used to toggle the coordinate system between polar and Cartesian. The next button in the bottom toolbar is the part view and live video zoom menu. This menu is context sensitive to the part view or live video view, depending on what you're looking at, and contains the various zoom function buttons available in the M3. Next to the zoom menu, we have the probe menu. Select any video probe button type to assign it to the active video probe. 
Simple and active crosshair, measure logic, and the autofocus tool can all be chosen from this probe menu. For systems that support light control, the light control button will be displayed and will display the active light control sliders and buttons on screen. These buttons and sliders can be used to set the illumination levels of the light sources on your measuring machine. The pencil icon provides access to the live video and part view annotation tools, as well as the live video image archiving function. Features can be marked up and annotated in both live video and part view views using these tools. See the help section on annotation for detailed information on these features. The remaining buttons in the bottom toolbar are the feature buttons. These buttons are used to measure, construct, and create the various supported feature types in the M3 software. Each of these feature buttons provides access to the feature sub toolbar. Each sub toolbar provides access to additional feature capabilities such as creating features and enabling of the repeat feature function. In some cases, such as for the slot and circle feature, additional feature types are accessed via the Features sub toolbar. You can see here that the arc and rectangle features are accessed from their respective sub toolbars. The last feature button displayed is the Datum feature menu. The Datum feature sub toolbar provides access to the Datum related toolbar buttons such as rotating of the coordinate system and the measure skew feature function. During certain software routines such as measuring or constructing features, additional buttons will be displayed to the right in the bottom toolbar. These buttons, such as the Done, Delete, and Quit buttons, can be pressed to execute, complete, or quit from various software routines. This completes our introduction to the M3 software user interface.